Hi, I am Dr. Vidushi from Subi Eye Hospital, Kota, Rajasthan, India. And in this video, we describe the use of a Zepto cataract technology to create a perfectly centered, smooth capsular axis in difficult cases with implantation of premium IOLs. Zepto cataract is uh, made by the Minosis company and is marketed by the Care Group in India. It is an innovative disposable device for creating capsular axis during cataract surgery and it creates accurate reproducible capsulotomies that are quick, safe and affordable. So this is the basic device with a console and a handpiece. The handpiece has a silicon suction cup with a nitinol ring. Nitinol is a nickel titanium alloy which is a shaped memory alloy which means that whatever shape it is bent into it always comes back into its original position and shape and therefore it is very useful for creating uniform capsular axis. Uh, studies have also been done to evaluate the temperature increase during the procedure and it has been found that there is negligible increase in the temperature while creating these capsulotomies. This is a Miyake apple view and during video studies uh, it has been found that there is no stress while creating these capsular axis on the zonules. Uh, so this is the basic technology when the nitinol ring is uh, pressed against the capsule and suction is applied nano pulses of energy are delivered and these uh, rapid pulses of very low energy cause vaporization of the water molecules trapped between the capsule and the nitinol ring and this creates the smooth capsulotomy. The other advantage of this device that is that it can also be used in cases of small pupils because the device is flexible and it can actually be placed under the pupillary edge. This is the handpiece which is modeled on a vitrectomy handpiece. It has a device uh, which can cause a retraction and uh, extension and it can uh, be inserted through a 2.2 millimeter incision. Newer consoles are also being developed to uh, create capsular axis of smaller sizes like 4.8 millimeters. The currently available size is 5.2 millimeters. So as you can see here, the disposable handpiece has an electrical wire that is attached to the console and it also has a tube coming out. Before we connect the handpiece to the machine, we dip the handpiece into a bowl of uh, fluid and then use a syringe at the other end of the tube to suck out uh, BSS into the entire tubing. Uh, apply suction till there is some fluid in the syringe as well and the BSS is drawn into the tubing to fill the entire tubing with BSS and leaving no air bubbles. Once the entire tubing is filled with BSS, we uh, use this red button to lock the uh, handpiece in a way and after this we attach the tubing as well as the electrical wire to the console that comes with the machine. Uh, once the surgeon is happy with the uh, positioning of the uh, device, he then asks the assistant to apply suction for which uh, a switch is pressed on the console. Once the suction is applied, the uh, water molecules uh, between the uh, handpiece uh, and the capsule are vaporized and this creates the capsulotomy with the uh, energy pulses that are delivered. This is the first case that we did in a 36 years old patient who had an intumescent cataract and we plan to implant a, tri a trifocal lens in this case. This white cataract can be seen even from a distance. He did desire spectacle independence if possible and therefore we wanted to implant a tri diff IOL. This is the routine side port incision being made with the air bubble and then we stain the capsules for better visualization during the FACO procedure. This is the Zepto device, the console. The handpiece has to be attached and then the handpiece is primed. Here the device is being placed through a 2.8 mm incision that has already been made but it can also be placed through a 2.2 mm incision. Once the device is well centered, we then apply suction and deliver nano pulses of energy to create the capsular axis. The axis can be centered according to the visual axis under direct visualization which is uh, extremely important for the premium IOS. So this is the uh, rexus that has been created. The margins as you can see are extremely smooth. There are no ragged edges and then because this is only a 36 years old patient so the uh, cataract is fairly soft and can be easily removed through phaco emulsification. And now we can see the beauty of the capsulotomy which is very well centered and very smooth and this is of course of crucial importance in the performance of the premium IOS that we now use to give the best results of these premium IOS. This is the tri-diff uh, trifocal IOL marketer 
implanted by the care group India which is being implanted in this case. So the, this tridif, a trifocal IOL is being implanted into the capsular bag to provide good distance near as well as intermediate vision to the patient. And as you can see here, this is a very well centered IOL. Intracameral triamcinolone is being uh, injected into the anterior chamber to minimize the post-operative inflammation. This of course is an optional step. And as we can see, he achieved a very good vision post-operatively reading a 6-6 or 20-20 unaided for distance and near. RN. U R F R H P N. This is the second case, which is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract with a corneal astigmatism of two diopters. And again, we plan a zipto cataract surgery with a multifocal toric IOL implantation. Now, we can see that in this kind of a Morgagnian cataract, obviously the capsulorexis is an extremely difficult step. There's a corneal scar from a previous pterygium surgery, which is probably causing the corneal cylinder. And so we uh, give the side port incision, mark the axis, and uh, we inject. Uh, the dye into the anterior chamber. This is the device. The silicon suction cup allows good visualization through the suction cup. Cup is then centered uh, using the push rod mechanism and this can be centered on the visual axis under direct visualization and then very brief low energy pulses are directed to create the capsulotomy through the nitinol ring which is the actual capsulotomy uh, ring. Uh, as we can see here, the um, this is a hypermature cataract, so a lot of fluid has come out immediately after the capsulorexis, and uh, it is quite evident that a, a faucet created uh, capsulorexis would have been extremely difficult and risky in this case. The cataract is quite hard, and it is being removed uh, in the normal manner using the standard precautions, and then we implant this uh, toric multifocal IOL, and this is the well-centered IOL scene. The third case is a 54 year old patient with a small pupil and the plan here is to do a zepto cataract uh, surgery with another premium IOL implantation. This is the pupil, it is not dilated well. The advantage with this device is that the suction cup is fairly flexible and it can actually be placed uh, under the pupillary edge to achieve a good size a capsular excess even in cases of small pupils. So again the handpiece has been primed and it is placed inside the anterior chamber in a retracted position and then opened up and you place it under the uh, pupillary margin and as soon as we deliver the energy, the nanopulse energy, because it is a good idea to enlarge the pupil using a different kind of pupillary expansion devices to make yourself more comfortable during surgery, using a second instrument to provide visualization in the area where you're operating. Here the phacoemulsification has been done and now the IOL has been placed. So to summarize, Zepto is a new device which is extremely affordable and gives good, well-centered, smooth capsular excess, which is especially useful in difficult cases like white cataracts and intumescent cataracts and therefore we can also expand the use of a premium IELTS which would otherwise be difficult in these cases.